Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> That's after. You think about it. We're living in this earth world, but we're not of it. That's right. We're on foreign territory. Uh -huh. We've got to realize we're not sovereign here. We, we've gone to another Amen. country, which is heaven. Uh -huh. And we're not subject to the laws here. The thing about it, the embassy in that foreign country is the soil of the country you're from. Uh -huh. And I think we're ambassadors of Christ. God has raised us up and caused us to sit where? Uh -huh. Heavenly places. place. You're going to miss this world. Uh -huh. We're in a heavenly place right now. Amen. We're not think about it. Pastor Pat was saying the, the recession is not for us. Amen. Yeah. We're in this country. It's not for us. That's right. Because we're in our heavenly place. That's Amen. right. We have Thank diplomatic you. community. Uh -huh. because, that's right. And this is so good. It was good to me because I, you know, sometimes, like I said, we, you know, them worries start, oh, how are we going to do this? What they, no, no, no. I got diplomatic. And when you recognize it, get it in here. I got diplomatic community. I don't care what they do. They don't have no jobs around. I ain't worried about mine. <laughs> And if, I, if it goes and God's got something else, yes. another way. I got diplomatic community. But when we're dealing with reconciliation and, 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 and what God has done for us, one of the things that we got, I got to go back into is carnality because I talked about it last week. Listen, this is the statement of the war. I was on King's Prayer and, and, and the Lord gave me this. You cannot win the war with babes. Come on. Let me say this. And I saw this, I was in prayer, and thank Brother Royal for helping me with this prayer, because I'm trying to get Sister Gwen addicted. I found out that I kind of like to prayer, you know, like Luke, but I'm not addicted, and I'm, I'm striving. All right. I'm striving, because once I get addicted to prayer, I'm going to be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in prayer, and it and, and was in my mind, so the Lord began to deal with me in this, that Satan, I, I don't know if I should use the word as prepared, or has already prepared to launch or is in the process of a launching a death threat on the church. Serious business. And we sitting here. Let me tell you something. I, I mentioned it earlier about how the folks got happy about being lying and shouting. Let me tell you something. Trust me. That is not the end. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. Don't think all. Oh. And then they told us that the gas prices are going down. So folks got happy again. Don't get fooled. We got diplomatic immunity. But don't get fooled. The enemy and Brother Wall helped us when he told us, remember, to look at the whole picture. See, and, and we get our eyes plastered on. They call it Ben Laden. And we get our eyes plastered on the. Gas prices is going down. Mm -hmm. So we sort of get a myopic or tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. yep. But let me tell you about the whole picture. The enemy's after this church. Yes, mm -hmm. That's the whole picture. <laughs> and he's going to sneak around whatever back door it takes to bring this church down. And he's not going to win. But in, the, in, but in the meantime, in every war, there are what? Casualties. Yes, yes. And let me say this as we go on and look at some scriptures. The Lord let me know you cannot win the war with babes. Saints, you got to grow up. Else you're going to be a casualty. That's about as kind as I can put it. You got to grow up. Else you go. You can't fight a war as a babe. There's no way. You love them little grandchildren, but you try to put her on the battlefield. You got to grow up. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 2. And I'm looking at 14. And I want everybody to get this. Because we're almost out of town. But this is something you've got to see. And I was trying to get the reconciliation. But most of you heard that anyway. So we don't get there. But you got to see this. Listen to this. Look at this. Don't get comfortable. My grandson, when we were coming to church, would say, Grandmama, they got so much store. What's this Mayan calendar mess? Did somebody say the world was going to end the 21st of May? And things to get your mind off of the big picture. That's all this is about. All this silly stuff to get your mind off the big picture. As Pastor told us, what was it last year, Pastor Joyce, about how the children of Issachar, and that thing, That's talking right. about getting in your heart. You know, I ain't been able to let that thing go yet. Discern the times. When he gave us that, I still have not been able to let that go. Listen to this. I'm in 1 Corinthians 2.14. But the natural man... <laughs> Receive it not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. That's why this world, you got, what's that, Stephen Hawkins and some of these other supposed to be renowned scientists and stuff talking about, there is no God. But listen to this, because it's foolishness, the, 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 they can't receive it. But listen to this, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, 
yet he himself is judged of no man. For he whom know, for he for who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. But we have, but we have the mind of Christ. Now listen to this. I'm going to the third chapter. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. Listen, I have fed you with milk. Milk is not going to cut it when you're getting ready to fight this war. Milk does not have enough nourishment in it. You can't fight with milk. Okay, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. You better get some meat. Did we have some meat Thursday night, Pastor All right. George? All right. <laughs> For here there too, you were not able to bear it. You can't bear it. Neither yet now are you talking to this Corinthian church. We're still in Corinthians. Are you able? For yet are for ye are yet carnal. Yet carnal. As long as you stay carnal, you are a babe. You have got to let go of these fleshly carnal things. Okay, give me Ephesians 2.16 right fast. I think that's it. Ephesians. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead, Pastor. No, you for your card off work among you what? Every in strife. All right. Amen. 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 We got to get rid of that stuff. And every time it pops up, it's an ugly head. You got to let the, no, 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 wait a minute. I'm an adult now. I'm, I'm, I'm grown up. <laughs> Just like when that little girl first said that to me and I was a little offended. I said, wait a minute, I'm grown now. I'm going to love this child. Amen. Seriously. When people do things to you to cut you in the back, cut your throat, uh -huh. you know, some folks not cut your throat. Uh-huh. While you bleeding, you got to say, oh, I'm grown now. I'm going to love you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Okay, and, and listen to this. I mean, Ephesians 2.16, I'll read it. And that he might reckon, so wait a minute. Uh, have it, let me start at 15. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments, contained in ordinances for to make in himself a twain, one new man, so making peace. And that he might, well, this is sort of dealing with reconciliation too, mm -hmm. both unto God and one body by the cross, mm -hmm. having slain the enmity thereby. Let me tell you something. And when we deal with reconciliation, because my notes are in both of them, God didn't change. And the record, we're not being, God is not reconciled to us because he didn't change. Mm -hmm. We changed. Mm -hmm. We are being reconciled back to God. Mm -hmm. Okay. And R-E, the prefix R-E. Anybody know what that prefix means? Again. That's the prefix. R-E. Again. To make new. So we're being brought back into what? Right standing with God. It was something else I wanted to read. Um, where are the people? We haven't broken. It was one good scripture. Uh, <laughs> it was so much. Let's go to Colossians 1.19. I had so much down here. <laughs> okay, this is talking about reconciliation. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to re reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether they, they be things in earth or things in heaven. We know Jesus was the one that took all.